Ah, good morning guys. It is currently 7 a.m. We are starting off the day hitting yard sales, estate sales. Oh, it's still 7. No. Oh, 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 oh. So we're inside someone's house right now. It's an estate sale. There's no good clothes. <laughs> One box. Well, we've hit in about three so far and no luck. But they're all like spreaded really around us, so we're gonna hit a lot today. Uh, we're pulling up to a little church indoor flea market slash, uh, I don't know, they're doing like a little fair today. They have like bouncy houses for kids and everything, snow cones. All bunch of toys, Looney Tunes, Bugs Bunny. Everything in there is Star Wars. All Star Wars? All Star Wars. Star Wars. This is pretty cool. Good dive. I guess to leave it on. Yeah. Well, we had no luck at all today at garage sales, yard sales. We probably hit about six or seven of them. No luck. Now we're just going to walk into regular uh, thrift stores, Goodwill, kind of make up for it. Hopefully we find some nice things. Let's see if there's any uh, good shoes sitting today. I'm not seeing any though. These are kind of cool. A6 gel sagas. As far as that, I don't really see any and ones. It's so funny. This isn't bad, but they want 20 bucks. Old school Nautica. More like sailing jacket. Bootleg Burberry women's uh, jacket. Fortunately, they want 20 bucks, so the print is even off, but too much, though. 20 bucks. Well, it's just one of those days. Nothing at yard sales, nothing at Goodwill. I don't know, I think we're gonna probably maybe hit up a few more, but you know, today is so dry, it's crazy. All right, well, I guess this is something. We have the Umbro SFC jersey. Pretend Umbro. So we're waiting for Payless to open. They open in about 10 minutes because if you guys saw, I caught these pink ones. Shout out to Paul Cantu, he put me on. Well, they have different colors, so we're gonna uh, wait and see what I can get. All right, so they have some blue ones. Size 12. Size 12. So we're going to take both of these. See if there's any other ones. So clutch. Oh, how many were there? Two. But both size 12. Nice blue though. Bro, $6 each. Yeah. So this is everything that I'm going to be bringing uh, to see what they're going to offer me for store credits. We have the bootleg Burberry Messenger. We have a two, or sorry, three Louis Vuitton scarfs that you guys saw me pick up for about $4 each. Uh, we have this bootleg Burberry scarf. We have these patchwork Levi's. I'm not sure if I'm going to give them to them because this was in my personal collection, but I'm going to just see what they're going to offer. A pair of page denim, which again, out of the personal. This is the size large. If you guys remember, I actually picked up two of these, the Hudson. Um, I have a medium and I just held the size large. I've been trying to sell it. If not, I was going to keep it because honestly, this is my favorite black pair of uh, cargo pants. Just super soft, nice material. We have the crazy button down shirt. The Lauren Ralph Lauren uh, windbreaker you guys saw me pick up the other day the Valentino, and then the Tommy Hilfiger little button down. I feel like these are, out of all the items I have, might be stuff that they might be interested to see if I can put towards, uh, you know, store credit. So let's see what they offer. Balenciaga. Me 
ready? I'm ready. Where's the paper? Scooping this with the store credit. All right, so I didn't really get to film or I didn't really film inside Uptown at all, like the selling, the interaction, nothing at all. But I'm just gonna kind of sum it up and kind of just show you guys exactly what went down. So yesterday when I went to Uptown, I saw this Balenciaga jacket and I specifically did not show you guys because I didn't want any of you locals coming and sniping my jacket. I already like, I knew I was gonna come back the following day because I wanted to bring some as trade, as trade bait. I didn't really want to kind of, you know, spend full cash. So I knew if I would have showed it in yesterday's video, I would have had some local go out and probably go and buy it because honestly, it's 100% authentic and the price was amazing. Um, so they took three items and trade. Now you guys saw I brought, you know, the Valentino, the Tommy, which I thought the Tommy they would for sure take, uh, but they didn't, as well as the patchwork, the Hudson pants, and then all the bootleg scarves as well as the bootleg bag. And you're thinking, well, that's basically everything. What did they take? They ended up taking a pair of Paige denim, which I was my personal collection. Um, I've had those for a while and I don't really wear them. I had three pairs, so I figured, you know what, I can let go one go. I'm not really worried that. Then they did take the purple Lauren Ralph Lauren windbreaker that we got yesterday or the day before at the dollar thrift store. I think it was yesterday's video. We picked it up for a dollar, so we gave that. And then what else did they took? They took one other item. Um, what'd they take? They took the purple, the page, Oh, and then the crazy button-up. My mind was like blanking on what they took. They took the crazy button-up, which was like that orange, the crazy all-over vintage print. And basically, they offered me $25 store credit, and I said, no, sorry. Like, I wasn't going to buy the jacket. I was going to leave it. I was like, you know what? I, I No, thank you. I appreciate your time. And they're like, oh, by the way, do you know you have money on your account? I was like, I have money on my account? They're like, yeah, you have like 20 bucks on your account. I was like, well, no, I didn't know because yesterday I came and I bought that Polo Sport with my cash. And they're like, oh yeah, you have money on your account. So I had $21 on my account, $25 store credit, and they gave me 20% off on the jacket. So basically the $25 uh, store credit turned into $80 store credit. I spent $125 cash out of my pocket, and then the rest kind of was just store credit. They had the jacket priced at $200, uh, as you guys see right here, Balenciaga, $200. And like I said, this is 100% authentic. You guys know me, I'm always the one to like know that it can't be authentic, but I've literally checked all the stitching, I've checked the tags, and everything matches out. Now there is the exact one with the same tagging, the same stitching, the same everything on Grailed for $1,200. So this was an absolute steal. It has all of the right tags, it has three of them, which it should be. Again, the stitching is just very nice. Now, this is about a size large and it fits an oversized fit. I did call my fr local friend that usually buys my designer. He bought my JaVinci, he actually bought my Mickey jacket. He buys a lot of the stuff. I was like, yo, I just got this Balenciaga Dengan jacket. Do you wanna come check it out? He's like, I'm on my way. So he's gonna come within the next hour and check it out. I told him I'd sell it to him for $350. Um, which again is still even a steal because I could probably sell it for between five and six hundred. I did put it on my Instagram for five hundred. I got a couple offers, three hundred, three fifty, three eighty. But honestly, with shipping and everything, I'd rather just do it three fifty local to my buddy. You know, make a quick what two hundred and thirty dollars with basically not doing anything. So I'm gonna kind of just hang out. I did throw a pizza. Pizza was on sale the other day. I don't know if it still is, but Publix Red Baron. These things were buy one get one free. And these are only like $5, so basically $2.50 you get like thin and crispy Red Baron pizza. It is honestly so fire, so fire. So I'm gonna quickly make that for lunch. I'm gonna settle down a little bit. Today is gonna be thunderstorming all throughout the day. I was gonna stop at a Goodwill on the way back, but honestly it was drizzling. It's just, it's not a fun time in South Florida right now. It's gonna be raining all day. So I'm just gonna kinda hang in. And like I said, I am gonna catch up when my friend gets here. Maybe I'll show him trying on the jacket and kind of interaction if I do end up selling it. So I'll catch up to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I cut the camera and I quickly try on the jacket. I'm like, yo, this thing's fire. I go to put my hand in the pockets and I'm feeling, I'm like, yo, this is, this is money. But it's not just money. If you know, you know, look at this shit. I swear to God, like it was 
just exactly like this inside this Balencia jacket. So you know this guy wore this to Miami and uh, oh Jack, yeah of course Jack wants some. Probably smells good doesn't it guy? <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. That's how you know that this jacket is authentic. That's how you know. Like, it, this is an authentic jacket. This secure, well actually, it should probably be a hundred dollar bill. Probably not a dollar bill, so, I don't know, maybe, uh, we'll see. Wow. Looks so good. As you guys see, I like mine a little bit well done.